And welcome back to the Steel Report for this week. A great event is coming up this Friday, August 20th, over at the Irv Warren Golf Course in Waterloo. It's the third annual Adaptive Golf Iowa Golf Clinic and also the Live Lucky Charity Golf Tournament. You know, Steve Husum's Husum Strong Foundation created Adaptive Golf Iowa as a nonprofit to help anyone with a physical disability get out there and enjoy the game of golf as a way of therapy. You know, Steve Husum is an outstanding golfer. Steve created the Husum Strong Foundation after he was struck while riding his motorcycle and unfortunately had to have his right leg amputated. As you know, we featured Steve on last year's program. Here is a portion of that segment. I really met a lot of neat people, a lot of people with different challenges and disabilities, far worse than mine and uh, came up with the idea to, uh, to start an adaptive golf program here in uh, the Cedar Valley. And it started with uh, kind of a brainstorm between Andy Devine and myself, and Andy was instrumental in my, you know, uh, helping me develop my swing as I was recovering from that accident. And uh, so, you know, we started a couple years ago, and we had a, a free adaptive clinic to try to raise a little bit money and raise awareness about adaptive golf. And we had it here at uh, Irv Warren, and we had great participation and we borrowed a couple of uh, adaptive carts like this one from the uh, the tea tournament down in Iowa City that uh, that works with the veterans down there and they were kind enough to loan us a couple of carts for the clinic and we had a gentleman that came to that clinic and he was a, a, a spinal cord injury so he had no use of his lower body and uh, you know he just had such a great time uh, at that clinic and hitting golf balls and just learning how to play that afterwards he said to me he said you know where can I rent or borrow or use a cart like this so I can go out and play with my buddies and just have fun again and and it was at that point that you know I realized that you know there really isn't any you know and as I started investigating it there wasn't any in the state of Iowa and so I from that point I decided you know let's just start you know let's put some fundraisers together try to raise some money and through some uh, generous grants from Blackhawk County Gaming Association, the Cedar Falls Community Foundation, and the Cedar Falls Tourism and Visitors Bureau, we were able to raise enough money to buy four solo rider golf carts. And that's, uh, we donated them back to uh, each of the four public golf courses in Waterloo and Cedar Falls. So each golf course has one. They're available to uh, the public. Anybody with any type of disability can just call the golf course and reserve it and they can use it at no charge to go out and have fun and play with their friends, kind of get back in the game. They just allow people that maybe thought that the, uh, the game has passed them by to be able to get back out and, and really enjoy it and participate with you know, their friends, their family, whoever it might be, and you know, just come out and enjoy a nice day and play a round of golf. These golf carts uh, were about $11,000 a piece to get them purchased and delivered here to Waterloo, Iowa. Steve is hosting his third annual Adaptive Iowa Golf Clinic this Friday. For more information on signing up for the golf clinic or the Live Lucky Charity four-person best shot tournament, just head over to the Adaptive Golf Iowa Facebook page or check out the Adaptive Golf Iowa website where you can sign up to play or even be a sponsor for this great annual event. That's it for this week's edition of the Steel Report. As always, thanks for watching. You can find all of our recent shows on kww.com. Just find the Watch tab, head on down to the Steel Report, and there you have it. We'll see you here next week on the next edition of the Steel Report. Thanks for watching.